I don't have to be perfect You don't have to be fine You see something in me For me it takes time And I know I got feelings I know you do too So let's work on it Gotta make things fit Cause I'm right here for you Bonjour from Paris everyone, I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I'm fresh from the airport, I landed two hours ago in Charles de Gaulle at 11am and it's now 1pm and I just check in in my hotel. So I'm staying for the first time at the Hotel de Nel, which is in the 9th arrondissement, pretty central, it's a great location. And I'm mainly here for work, I'm gonna work from uh, the offices of the company I'm working with in the US in Paris for the next week, for the next few days next week and I wanted to arrive a little bit in advance in order to fight the jet lag so I'm excited to bring you along in my Parisian adventure. Today is gonna be pretty much just me. I um, wanted to have this Saturday, this day just for myself in order to acclimate it better to the, to the jet lag and to uh, you know check in my hotel and have a relaxing day just for myself. We're gonna walk around right after I have some shopping to do. I have some gift to buy from some uh, members of my family. So anyway, you're gonna, you're gonna start right after. Right now, I'm excited to take a shower. I haven't showered yet. I just check in and grab my camera and wanted to film this intro just for you to have the real uh, moment. <laughs> so today is gonna be just me and, uh, you know, walking around in Paris. And then Sunday, I'm gonna see some friends. One of my best friends just had a baby, so we're gonna get together and uh, she's gonna, I'm excited to, to meet the, the baby. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm gonna work at the offices, but I'm gonna see some friends every night. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I think what I wanna do is to show you the room of this uh, hotel. Again, this is the Hotel de Nail in the 9th arrondissement. So uh, yes, let me show you the, uh, the room and I will uh, talk to you right after. So right when you enter in the room, you face this little window, which is pretty cute. The room is pretty big for, honestly, for a Parisian hotel, which is pretty nice. It's their standard room, but it's a good size, to be honest. So you have the little window with a little balcony that we're gonna see after, and then the bed is right there. Not the smallest one for a Parisian hotel, so it's a, it's a very good size for, for Paris, I have to say. A pretty nice, um, closet right here. Maybe we can look at that. I haven't look at this one. Yeah, so you can definitely organize all of your wardrobe here. And obviously you have the coffee machine and the tea set right there. Very important, especially when you need to fight the jet lag like me. And over there is more like the shower and restroom. But I just wanted to show you that too. You have a big mirror right when you enter so it's pretty practical i have to say and i think honestly the right spot is the bathroom for this room it's very very spacious especially again for a parisian hotel i love the dark vibe here it's really looking like a spa that's pretty nice and they have all of the nux product that you can see so it's pretty cool and I love their little bathroom corner. As you can see, I'm still in my airport clothes and can't wait to use this shower right there. But again, Nux products here. I love the marble here. It's very, uh, very luxurious, I think. It's not incredibly big, but you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Paris. It's not honestly too bad for Paris. And here you have the restroom, oh, you don't see anything, obviously. The restroom are very spacious too. It's just, you know, your standard restroom. So honestly, not too bad for a Parisian hotel. And then I think that's what I wanted to show you. We have the little balcony here. And that's the money shot right there. They gave me this room on the sixth floor, which overlook this beautiful church, which I have no idea the name of the church, but I need to figure that out. And I'm right basically on the Parisian roof, which is beautiful. 
So you can see um, we are not having a beautiful blue Californian sky today. It's really, really gray. Oh, and we have a little friend here. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey. Okay, we are all shower and ready to go. It feels so, so good. I feel like a new man. As you can see, I'm all layered up with my Coast turtleneck, APC, overshirt that I bought during Black Friday, and then my Barbour jacket. The bag of the day is the Bodega Veneta Hop. It's freezing outside, so that's why I'm like trying to fight the cold with as many layers as I can. The first stop is going to be the Galerie Lafayette. I want to check the Le Mer Corner there. And then we're going to go to the Faubourg Saint-Honoré, which is about 30 minutes away from, from the hotel, I think, walking, because I want to stop by the Céline Parfumery store, I always go there to buy some recharge for my travel spray, so let's go. I hope you are doing well. It is Sunday, January the 14th, and we are in my hotel room, as you can see. I woke up fairly early this morning. The jet lag is still very real. I think I woke up at around 4 a.m. So I stayed in bed for a while and finally decided to go for my cappuccino and little breakfast here in the hotel. I just came back in the room, showers, got ready. I'm about to leave to see one of my best friends here in Paris. She just got her a baby so I'm finally gonna meet uh, her baby and before doing so I wanted to show you what I bought yesterday one of my favorite stores to stop by and shop whenever I'm here in Paris is the Céline Parfumery so the fragrances uh, shop in Faubourg Saint-Honoré they have such a, the loveliest staff the boutique is beautiful it's uh, made with all of this black marble and this hundred and hundred of bottle of fragrances everywhere so a few years back i bought this travel spray 
you can probably find that everywhere now. I think you can find it in the US, but obviously the price in France will be a little bit better here. So basically, up, you just recharge. You have to buy two, so two recharge every, every time together, but you can buy two different ones and they have like, I think maybe 20 different uh, fragrances that come into this, uh, this size. So I always take a Parade, which is their main uh, fragrance that the fragrance they are using on the models before they walk the runway. And the one I love too, which is more like a summer one, is Eau de Californie. So I took one of each and um, that would probably last me a few months. And the other thing I bought there, which is pretty new, and that's a gift I'm gonna give to some of my cousins. The sales associate told me there that they are expanding their skincare and um, body products more and more. And they just launched some soap. So I don't really want to break the packaging because again, it's going to be a gift, but the seller also gave me a little bag. So I'm going to put, I have three of those for three of my cousin. I'm going to put those in those little bags. And he gave me like three or four different samples of fragrance for every one of them. So I think it's just like, you know, a very, you're not breaking the bank. But it's a very nice gift that you can offer to someone and I think they're gonna make them so happy. Every time I I am in France, I stop by a French pharmacy to buy some cosmetic or dermo cosmetic product. Those ones are from La Roche-Posay, as you can see. I love those La Roche-Posay serum. So they have three different ones, I think. There is um, the vitamin C one, the retinol one, and I think there is another one which is more like hyaluronic acid, which I have already. Okay, I think I'm about to get ready to go. We're gonna stop by a pâtisserie because I need to bring dessert for today's lunch. And I also want to buy my friend some flowers. So we're gonna stop by uh, a florist also on our way to, uh, to my friend. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and let's keep moving. We're gonna talk every day. Monday, January 15th, and it's a beautiful day in Paris today, although it's still very cold. I'm walking around Saint-Germain-des-Prés, I'm taking a break from work, and it's just spectacular. Come take a look.
everyone. I hope you are doing well. I just came back in my hotel room after a day working in the office of my company here in Paris. And I just wanted to jump in just to share with you what just happened to me. Um, basically, we were uh, walking around to find a lunch spot with uh, my coworker. And I saw this guy walking around with his two Australian shepherds without any leash or off leash, which is kind of, you know, rare, especially in a big city like Paris. And those two dogs were Australian Shepherds. And I was like, that's reminding me of something. And I remember that in June, 2023, so last year, I was also in Paris with some friends and I saw a guy walking around with two Australian Shepherds off leash in a completely different neighborhood of Paris. And when I see this guy today, when I saw this guy today, I was like, oh my God, that's actually the same person walking around with these two dogs again. And we are in a completely different neighborhood in Paris. And I'm seeing this person again six months later. What are the odds for that to happen? So I just wanted to share that with you because that's the type of situation you can run into in Paris. I mean, what are the odds for that to happen, first of all? It, it's crazy. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you're all doing well. I don't have to be perfect You don't have to be fine You see something in me For me it takes time And I know I got feelings I know you do too So let's work on it Gotta make things fit Cause I'm right here for you No, I don't wanna be tough I just wanna be